Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Walker, that is. Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Um, I cannot take credit for this. Uh, my Bride of Christ uh, series, uh, Karen S. left a comment, a very good one, uh, from an angle I never even considered. And uh, now remember, Jacob was the uh, grandson of Abraham, the son of Isaac, and uh, Jacob was the um, brother of Esau, who became Edom. And God changed Jacob's name to Israel. Now, from what I understand, Jacob means supplanter, kind of a, like trickster, whereas Israel means rules with God or prince with God. She writes the following concerning uh, the wives. And I quote, Interesting, it reminds me of Jacob's two wives, Leah and Rebecca. God blessed Leah with many children because she was hated, not loved, by Jacob. Rebecca was loved by Jacob for her beauty, probably, but she was an idolater. Remember, she was a woman who sat on a beast, claiming to do so because of her period being unclean. She was doing this so to hide the idols, or gods, that she had stolen from her father. Leah also declared after giving birth to Levi, now remember my, my note here, Levi was the uh, tribe of the Levitical priesthood. Very important. I mean, they were a major tribe in Israel. They were to be the copyists of the law. They were to take care of the tabernacle. I mean, Levi was like God's servant. Okay? When you took an animal to be sacrificed, you gave it to a Levite. Um, so Leah also declared after giving birth to Levi, I believe that her husband would now surely love her and reside with her. But just like the Israelites ended up rejecting their husband, Jacob ended up still loving the idol-worshipping wife more. Also, Joseph, the firstborn of Rebekah, ended up being the man that ultimately brought Israel into captivity under Pharaoh. The more I think about it, I think there's a lot, a lot of angles to study in this whole story. Unquote. Very interesting. Um, from what I understand, all right, uh, Leah's children were Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, the king's tribe, the tribe of the kings. That was uh, the tribe that King David came from. Issachar, Zebulun, uh, she had a daughter named Dinah. And she was also the um, mother of Joseph and Benjamin. Wow. Eight of the twelve tribes belong to her. Very interesting, I think. And a daughter. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure, but I, I, I think I read it somewhere, that uh, Leah means heal, weary, healing as in... Uh, being made whole from sickness, weary or lioness, grieved, and she surely was grieved, and then in the Greek, good news. And I'm not 100% sure about that. I, my notes are a little old on this. But uh, on BritishBabyNames.com, on their blog, what they say about Leah, I want to read this short excerpt from this. Really interesting. Uh, let's see. 
It says she was an ancestress of Christ. She was. And uh, she was the elder daughter, daughter of Rachel. Oh, okay, Rachel, Rachel, whom Jacob wished to marry. And then in um, Genesis 29, verse 17, we are told Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. I think, oh, I'm going to have to make sure, I think Karen got mixed up with uh, Rebecca with Rachel. Not a hard thing to do. Um, Rebecca, I think, if I remember correctly, yeah, that was Isaac's wife. That was um, uh, Jacob's mother's name. Not hard to do. <laughs> I, that's why I don't, I, it's names. Boy, I'll get you. They'll get you every time. All right, so um, Leah says what's tender-eyed. Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. Yeah, she was probably uh, very pretty. Rachel was. Leah, who knows, maybe she was the uh, homely librarian type that needed glasses, you know. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, some suggest that her eyes were tender from crying. Blah, blah, blah. Rachel was the attractive sister. Jacob was determined to marry her. Um, Laban tricked Jacob into marrying his elder daughter, Leah, first. According to some, I don't want to say who, but they say that uh, Leah was possibly destined or to be the wife of uh, Esau. I don't know how true that is, but, you know. All right, so... Uh, so... Jacob decided he, you know, he got he got Leah for a wife, and then he was angry, and then he had to serve another seven years to finally marry Rachel. And then Leah had to bear the brunt of this, and she was always hoping to. I, I'm I'm assuming she was trying to win her husband's affection, praying for it. Each time she had another son, but you know. Jacob didn't uh, didn't appreciate her. So it says, finally, when giving birth to her fourth son, Leah had an awakening, deciding no longer to pine for Jacob, but to devote herself to God and her children and take joy in all that she had been given. So, uh, uh, Judah, if I remember correctly, Judah actually means praise, if I remember correctly. I, I think it does. So, you know, it's, uh, I think it's kind of interesting there. And you think about it, that Jacob Israel, he didn't want the homely girl that, you know, gave him all those sons. Half the, half the tribes were from her, including Benjamin, Joseph, Judah and Levi, probably the four most important tribes of, of the 12. I mean, Judah was the tribe of the kings. So, you know, it makes you kind of wonder. Oh, poor, poor Leah, right? So, all right. And, uh, Oh, just a little side note here on British baby names. Guess what the most popular name for boys is in London? It starts with an M. And if you guessed Muhammad, you would be right. I don't consider them British. Oh, by the way, Brit, B-R-I-T, the Anglicized uh version well if you if you do it in the hebrew brit means covenant and ish means man mankind so brit ish means 
covenant man or man of the covenant. Who gave us the King James Bible? The Word of God in English. Take a guess. I'll give you three guesses. Yeah. England, Britain, the United Kingdom. There's your three guesses. So, and if you look into the Scottish Declaration of Independence, I think they call it uh, Aberoth, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm not Scottish, I can't, you know. But uh, in the Scottish Declaration of Independence, if you look it up, they proclaim that they crossed the Red Sea with Moses. So our history has been hid. We uh, we are Semitic cousins, I'm sure, to the to the to the true Jews. And sadly, the uh, Canaanites have changed their names. You know, names like Cohen and Goldberg. Do you know what Goldberg means? Berg is a German word for mountain, and they spell it B-U-R-G. In Yiddish, it's spelled B-E-R-G. But it basically means a, a mountain of gold. Uh, you know, really? Silver, steen, steen, silver stein, silver steen. I mean, yeah. I mean, really? Uh, you know, it just... I, I've never met such a a group that were so fixated on money but you know hey what can I tell you but um, and I've heard from uh, people that I know because I live in the third largest uh, population of people claiming to be Jews down here in South Florida so I've known quite a few in my life I grew up with a bunch of them matter of fact I've been to at least one bar mitzvah probably wouldn't be invited to one of those again but but the the what I, the point I'm trying to make is I knew a uh, a messianic Jew and I met a a Torah observant Jew I guess you could say one that you know didn't believe in the the Talmud and the uh, Kabbalah. And uh, they told me that the uh, Kabbalah, Zionist, Talmud, Talmudic ones that follow the that stuff, that claim to be Jews, horribly mistreat, horribly mistreat the, uh, the uh, Torah-believing or Tanakh-believing Jews. Matter of fact, a lot of them, they get fed up with living over there and they come back to the United States. And uh, those are the ones, probably those are the ones that are uh, protesting against Zionism. You know, they don't like Zionism from, you know, because they're, they're mistreated too because they actually believe the Word of God, not, not uh, Kabbalah and all that other nonsense that, uh, you know. I think you're... We're gonna when the time when the Lord finally does return and He reveals all things, I think we're gonna find out that the great majority of those Zionists uh, claiming to be Jews are Edomites and Hittites and Canaanites and Sinites and Hivites and Amorites and Moabites and all the other ites. Yeah, there's actually a Sinite. I don't think I'd want to be a member of that tribe. All right, uh, all blessings, praise, and glory and honor to Jesus, who is the Christ. And uh, thank you, Karen, for uh, for that comment. That that really uh, that really made my day. I like that. Instead of Jacob Israel going after the the wife, you know, he went after the uh, the beauty the beauty queen who was an idolater. Boy, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the you could do the prodigal son. You could do the prodigal daughters, right? The prodigal daughter. Except for, I don't know if uh, Rachel ever, uh, I don't know. I don't know what Rachel ever did. All right, signing off.